Okay, welcome to the Crow Discovery Project. Um, I wanted to do this clip as a lot of people have been asking me how they can film the moon, and a lot of people have actually began filming um, to try to add to what we know. Now, the footage I'm going to run here is older footage. It shows me setting up the old system with my classic Mead 8-inch and uh, the old DSLR camera I had. The thing about filming the moon is, is even if you have a decent camera that has good optical zoom, you never want to use digital zoom, you can get good shots of the moon. If you make sure that you're shooting at the highest quality and uh, you can get a decent sized moon in frame, when you get in the editing room, you can zoom in a bit and that really will give you great views of the moon. Uh, I know people are using Sony Handycams to do this, um, but if you're intent on using a telescope, a lot of people are asking, well, what scope do I get? This is all about budget. The scope you see here is a Schmidt cast grain style. They come in all sizes, all the way down to 90 millimeters or smaller. Even the small 90 millimeter Schmidt cast grain scope will give you excellent views of the moon. Um, now, what you're going to need to do is couple a camera. In this day and age, almost regardless of the camera you have, there is a way to couple them. What you need to do is call a telescope shop. Now, if you call Oceanside Photo Telescope and online they are OPT. So here, actually what you just saw there was me putting an adapter ring on the camera. That's just a filter, a light filter for city light. But see that T-ring poking off the front of the camera? Those are the two things that take a typical camera and attach it to a scope. The adapter to the camera and the T-ring. But anyhow, what I was going to say is, if you go online, go to O, P as in Paul, T as in Thomas, OPT, and it's a telescope shop that you can call. They have a 1-800 number. No matter what camera you have, there is almost certainly a way to couple it to a telescope. If you call the scope shop and you have a budget and you tell them, I want to film the moon, they will begin to tell you the options within your budget range. And this is the problem here is it's dependent on the camera you have, it's dependent on whether you don't have anything. If your budget's only three, four hundred bucks, or if your budget's a thousand dollars, this is why I can't just lay out what you're going to do. But if you call OPT on their 1 800 number, they will steer you right and then you will know the equipment that you need to get now if you're just going to use a camera you're going to want to have a tripod um, resolution is king in this game and as you can see here um, I'm doing chemtrail work here you always want to have a tripod wiggly video out of focus video low res video is not going to get it but at the end of the day anyone can film the moon whether it's just with a camera or whether you get a small telescope and couple it to your camera, um, the options are limitless. And if you make sure that you are shooting high definition video, and if you make sure you are in great focus, you can add to what we know. Now, those of you that follow me saw the last video I put up where there was a really tight shot on the moon and the lunar wave went by. That's great information to have, but for people with just a camera, you're going to get the whole moon in frame. Now, that is great for catching unidentified objects um, and it's great for catching the lunar wave. As a matter of fact, if you want to try to find unidentified objects, you really do want a full moon shot. So there's the clip. I wanted to make sure that I responded because so many people are asking. At any rate, please click on the link down in the description of this video and follow me on the examiner. My last clip up, I was bagging on NASA for using fake imagery. And yeah, go out and film. Cheers.